What's up guys, Baker here. Today I have a tutorial. I'm going to call this Fire Displace Transition. Pretty simple, but I thought it was pretty cool. It's basically this transition I used in my uh, community montage right now. So fire kind of comes in and makes it all warpy and uh, makes it kind of cool. So this won't work for uh, every single clip if you uh, want to use it, but I thought it was pretty cool because on this map there's uh, a little bit of fire on the tank and kind of blends just a little bit and there's like smoke and I don't know. I just thought it was cool. Uh, good place to fit it. But basically I got two clips and I got this footage of some fire and I want to kind of blend them together and stuff. So um, I'll just drag this out put it in between. Um, one thing I want to make sure is the frame rate matches. So if you if I look in a project window, our frame rate is 23.976, but our uh, composition is 59.94. So what I'm going to do is right click interpret footage main. Now, I know when I render this, I want this to be uh, 30 frames per second because that's what you uh, YouTube plays back at, right? So I can just set this to 29.97. If I do it to 59.94, it might be a little too fast, and the fire might look a little too fake. So just make sure uh, your frame rate is up to speed. Um, now I'm just going to look for a spot. So let's zoom in here. Um, I'll set it to maybe like a second before the next footage starts. So maybe around here and place my footage I'm probably gonna scoot this down below so kind of gross from the corner up and uh, yeah I might have to scale this up a little bit maybe put it back a little bit higher so I don't know just place it where you want you know don't make it too extreme and then I'm just going to fade out this fire like so, maybe half a second into the next clip. So basically it looks like this, he shoots, there's a little bit of fire at the bottom, coming in, and there we go. You can probably put it a little bit longer, something like that. Alright, so just like that, that's kind of cool, but um, blend mode needs to be fixed, so maybe screen. Okay, get some nice bright fire. But it's not, you know, warping, it just looks too flat and kind of boring. Let's also fade in the uh, next clip as well. Let me do that real quick. Opacity, keyframes, this should be basic for you guys. Blend right in, okay. But now, I want some displacement. So, I'm going to make a new adjustment layer, put this underneath the fire. And we're going to search up displacement map. Check that on. And then the layer we're going to connect it to is the fire layer. So what happens is the fire is going to control what gets displaced. If you look at this, what I'm wiggling is right underneath the fire, right? All right. But first, let's set this to uh, luminance for both. Okay. And let's displace it to the side a little bit and maybe up, no, down. Let's also wrap the pixels around so we don't get any black edges. Now, the problem here is it looks really, you know, not smooth. It's really pixelated and uh, kind of just gross looking, right? So we can uh, probably blur out the fire, but that'll blur out the... Uh, real fire and we learn uh, we lose detail and another thing is if we apply effects to a layer like this the displacement map does not know it has effects on it it only thinks we're using just this layer so what we need to do is duplicate this fire layer and pre-compose it and call this uh, fire at cam blurred and we're going to leave all attributes okay so let's double click right inside and it's just our fire layer once again 
we're going to set up a fast blur or whatever blur you want. Come on, buddy. There we go. And just blur it a little bit so it's kind of smooth. Probably no more than 60 pixels. Repeat edge pixels as well. So we just get something like this. Pretty smooth. And we'll go back to our spawn shot. And we'll set the displacement layer to the blurred pre-comp. Now you'll see our blur or uh, displacement is a lot smoother, and it looks like the fire is actually you know pushing, um, not pushing, but you know how heat has a different uh, index of refraction and stuff. So yeah, let's also fade this guy out. Uh, let's see this one. Oh, it is. Why is it still going? Ew. Alright. So I'm going to fade the adjustment layer out then. Boom. Down to zero. So we should have a normal clip. Actually, I don't want to fade it out. Oops. Okay, here's what we want to do. First keyframe, when the fire is fading out, keyframe these uh, displacement values. Go forward and send both to zero. If you do an opacity fade on adjustment layer, you get weird ghosting and it just looks gross. So, anyways, here's a quick RAM preview of what we got. And, um, I think it's a pretty simple and fast transition. I think it looks cool because the fire like warps the footage. And um, be careful not to warp it too much. You can see the top edge is getting real, like, uh, tiley weird effect. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, go ahead and check out this community montage if you haven't already. Um, this is my first tutorial I've done out of this video. Probably do that transition, this little bar transition. I thought it was pretty cool, too. But check it out. Let me know what you think. If there's any other tutorials that might be kind of cool. And, um, yeah, let's uh, take a look at this RAM preview. Sorry guys, I'm a little sick, but, alright, so, transition in my uh, montage was a little faster, but you guys get the idea, right? You can always, again, just adjust the blur how you want it, so maybe a little bit more blurry, get a little bit more smooth, and uh, play with the value so it's not so, you know, crazy up top and, and all that stuff, but. Anyways, that is it. Be sure to like and favorite the video. Comment if you have any questions. Hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. And check out my community montage. It's pretty, pretty sexy. Alright. Peace.